Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie and I love sharing tips on how to save time and money. Well, last night I placed my Walmart grocery pickup order and they text me this morning letting me know that it's ready. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I'm gonna go to Aldi's so that I can save even more money. And I'm going to stick to my $180 grocery budget, hopefully. <laughs> because I have a lot of shopping to do. So I'm really hoping that I stay under budget. I figured all everything out. So I really think I'm gonna just barely make it again this week. But I have to pick up a lot of items and I already did my weekly meal plan. So come with me, let's go to two stores and let's see how we can save. Hi guys, so I'm back from Walmart grocery pickup and from Aldi's. And before I show you everything that I bought, I wanna let you know that although I love Walmart, I was a little disappointed because they didn't have the zucchini that I had ordered because one of my meal plan ideas was to make stuffed zucchini boats. And if you haven't seen that recipe, I'll link it above. But unfortunately they didn't have it and they didn't have any substitutes for it. But when I went to Aldi's, I saw that they had the peppers, the sweet ones, that are orange and yellow and they were actually on sale so I was like score <laughs> so instead I'm gonna make my stuffed peppers this week and if you haven't seen that recipe I'll link in above as well anyway let me show you what I bought from Walmart I picked up two bags of the organic carrots and I love the fact that they are so big so I can stretch them in a few of my recipes I picked up a bag of organic apples the bananas, I love how they're green, so hopefully that means that they'll last throughout the week without turning brown. Me and my avocados, we have a thing going on. <laughs> so I picked up four, and I was so excited because they were actually more on sale than they normally are. They're normally 99 cents or 98 cents each. They're down to like 88 cents, so I picked up four. I needed a lemon. I haven't had blueberries in a little bit, and they look like they were really good, and they were actually on sale also, so I picked up one package. I needed some garlic and some onions. This five pound bag of potatoes was on sale, so I had to get that as well. I have some organic spinach and celery that I'm gonna be using in a recipe this week. Look at how huge these sweet potatoes are. And potatoes, you don't have to bother getting them organic because they have such few pesticides in them that when you wash them and then cook them, they actually all come off. And if you haven't seen my video on what to and not to get organic in order to stay on budget, I'll link it above. This week we're gonna be in a little bit of a rush, so just in case, I got two tubes of pizza crust and some cheese to make some pizzas. Emily was out of her Cheerios, and we were out of mayonnaise for the kids' sandwiches. I always pick up some whipping cream for my coffee because I like to make it more like a cappuccino style, and it's delicious. I needed some butter and of course my favorite tea. I only have one canister of ricotta cheese in the fridge so I picked up a small one so that I can make my stuffed peppers. I needed some more garlic powder. I have my sauce in the refrigerator and my family loves it so we go through it so much that I like to keep a bottle of sauce in the cupboard just in case. And if you haven't seen my sauce recipe, which I get to hide some vegetables on the kids and they have no idea, I'll link it above. I'm gonna make some pork chops marsala, so I needed to pick up some cooking wine. We were out of plastic wrap. Emily was out of her toothpaste. And I needed another carton of eggs. This is my sugar, and I'm the only one that uses it and I love it and this package lasts me for weeks and I was out. Brian asked me to pick up some yogurt. He wants to eat a little healthier and I'm all about it. So I picked up some strawberry yogurt for him. My husband loves this Giovanni non-fat non plain yogurt. So I picked up three and he will go through all three of them in a week. And they're really big too. They're what, 32 ounces. And we were low on milk so I picked up a gallon. So this is everything that I got from Walmart. From all these, I picked up these two packages of three peppers in each, and they're the sweet colors. So this was my saving grace for my um, switch of a meal. So I'm making stuffed peppers from these. I picked up a package of the cinnamon raisin bagels. I usually do this every week because the kids' bus gets here at 6.30 in the morning. 
So sometimes when they wake up a little later, they can grab a breakfast on the go. As usual, I picked up some whole wheat bread for their sandwiches. I wanted to get some chicken broth just to have some extra one on hand. And I never buy the toilet paper from Aldi's. I don't know if it's good or not, but it was $4.99 and it's for uh, 12 rolls and we were out. So I thought, let me give it a try and maybe I'll find something that will save us money. Me and my avocado oil, we've got a thing going on. <laughs> I love cooking in it because it doesn't flavor the food, but it's actually really healthy for you. So I picked up my a bottle as usual because I was out. I'm making chicken noodle soup. That's why I picked up these egg noodles. I've never tried them before, so I'm hoping that it's delicious. The raspberries that are organic were on sale, and the packages didn't look that great, but this one actually really did. It's nice and bright, and Emily loves raspberries. Although my husband did help me with the groceries, I actually was able to bring in three boxes and they were not open. So I'm sure he's waiting for me to film, finish filming so he can come and break one open. We have these at work and they help us get through the morning before our lunch. And they're really good for you and they're delicious. Normally I pick up um, a box of organic granola bars for the kids' lunches, but when I saw this box, it was on sale, and there's 32 of them, I thought, let me give them something different so they don't get bored, and we'll have extra for the next week. We love our kale. I picked up three bags, and it's organic, and we love making them into different meals, and especially one that I make with garlic and onions, and I'll film a video on that, because even the kids are eating kale, and to say that, that says a lot about that recipe. <laughs> And I picked up two organic chickens and it's a whole chicken and they're small as you can see in my hand so that's why I picked up two of them and from their bones I'm gonna make two pots of stock and that way not only can I make chicken soup this week as um, another one of my meals because it's getting cold out but I can take the rest of the soup and freeze it for a future meal and that way I'm making the most out of this chicken and probably making at least three meals out of it and this is everything that I got from Aldi's. At Aldi's, I spent a total of $70.99. And at Walmart, I spent a total of $90.29. So my total with using Walmart grocery pickup and shopping at Aldi's is $161.29. And that means that I went under budget by $18.71. And I'm so excited. Every time I'm under budget, it just feels like a victory. And it's all because of meal planning. And if you need any additional help on meal planning or wanna see any of my videos, I'll link them above. But it really does give you the freedom of being able to feed your family and of mine, a family of five, a healthy and delicious meal and stretching every single ingredient that you saw in that haul to feed them for the entire week until I do this again the following week. So I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!